Hey, right? can I have a grande white chocolate mocha add raspberry no whipped cream? Okay. Grande raspberry no whipped white mocha. What else for you? Uh, an extra shot. With an extra shot? Okay. Got it for you? Yes, ma'am. So holes. And coffee. Breakfast of champs. Um, I'm not 100% yet, uh, but I can say that these hot drinks really are helping with my voice and with my sore throat. So it looks like I'll be having this for breakfast. Missing some y'all saw in the first bear complex we decided to get some performance auxiliary balance work in some single leg bolster ball rdls single leg bolster ball bulgarian split squats if y'all don't know what that is don't worry about it. you'll see it again finish with some wall ball sit-ups and i didn't record none of it none of it sorry we still got the finisher y'all get about 65 percent of the workout maybe 70 somewhere in there but I feel like I'm finished already. I do not feel like doing this. Let's go. And you did right from the start. That's it for day one. Pretty rough. A lot of full body movements. With emphasis on lower body. Good conditioning work. It's a real good workout to let us know we've been slacking. We've been in the gym like we should. We've been working like we should, but that's why it's always better to have a workout partner if you got a partner that's gonna push you. Don't get a partner if they're gonna BS, waste your time, talk to you, talk you out of stuff. You need somebody who's pretty close to your strength and your endurance and competitiveness so that y'all can push each other and get better. Trust me, you'll want results in 90 days versus three years. And that's what's gonna happen if you BS in the gym. You're gonna be keep going, never see anything. But anyway, that was a great session. I'm tired, I'm hungry. Uh, we had to finish strong with that walk of flock and I'm tired for the burpees was tough. Even though y'all won't hear it, of course. Copyright mess. It's time to shower and eat. Keep the day moving. It never ends. So I'd like to take a moment and introduce y'all to somebody that's pretty special to me. We have a very love-hate relationship, and that is Slevin, my truck. Now, we have a very love-hate relationship for this particular reason. So I got this truck um, when I was working at D1. Crazy story. Um, I was sharing a vehicle at the time, and my seven o'clock class came together without me knowing, and they did something spectacular. Well, there's one guy in my class named in my class named Shane Gasaway, 
who started with me and uh, had a pre- pretty significant weight loss uh, under my tutelage. Um, he went and found a truck, and he got the class to pitch in, and all get it for me, and they surprised me with it. Now, when they first got me the truck, it was in perfect running condition. All I had to do was go get tags and insurance on it, and I lollygagged around with it, and uh, it's safe to say that I let the truck sit up for far too long. So after letting it sit up for a few months, I finally decided, hey, man, I need to go and get this thing running. I'm a trainer. I could use this truck for, like, carrying my equipment and my stuff in and uh that's what i did i started trying to put work into it and i did not know what i was in for i thought i had some simple fixes like you know alternator battery um which i did then i had to go do um water pump i had to do spark plugs I had to do fuel pump and partially it's my fault because i let it sit up so long i know part of it is because the truck is so old um, and it just needed some routine maintenance. But I just kept working at it, kept grinding at it. Uh, my mechanic has been very patient with me. We're not exactly where we need to be yet, but Slevin is up and running. And the name Slevin comes from the movie Lucky Number Slevin and the fact that my 7 o'clock class got it for me. So that's the bittersweet part. It was a gift from my class who holds a lot of sentimental value, but the bitter part is all the parts and labor and time and effort and love I'm putting into it. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of cleaning from it because if you haven't noticed, uh, the truck has a lot of sun damage. So ultimately, I want to repaint it. I want to tint the windows. Um, and then, you know, just update the inside. I don't have to be nothing crazy. Maybe just some seat cover, steering wheel cover, or whatever. But I want it to be a presentable work truck. Nothing too spectacular, but I want it to be a very nice functioning truck. The moment of truth. That well, would help if it was unlocked, huh? The moment of truth, take two. Driver's seat is okay. But that passenger seat needs some work. I mean, it's just mess, mess, mess. Uh, let me unlock that door so I can get around to the other side. There we go. Now y'all can see a whole bunch of randomness in here. And that's exactly what it is, randomness. Oh, U-verse stuff. I'm pretty sure I owe AT&T for this. But I haven't had U-verse in like years. So I'm tossing it. First aid kit that I'm not doing a good job taking care of at all. Ha. I don't know if y'all remember the episode on uh, Halloween and I was the Bluetooth fairy with my kids at D1 at the time. First camera I ever bought, the DJI Osmo. It was a great camera, but then I realized real fast that the setup on it took way too long. Uh, it drained your battery. It just, you couldn't catch nothing in the moment. I mean, the stabilization was wonderful. I mean, you couldn't even vlog with it. You had to be like a meter and a half away, and I don't know if you know anybody who's that long, but I don't, so it didn't work for me. But this is what started it all. Didn't know I had an umbrella. TV stand, bro, a TV stand, why? But I know what TV it goes to, so I'm gonna keep it. Full of pennies! I need to go cash this in. Look at that right there. See, personalized. Ah, we won't focus. There we go. My coach, my mentor, uh, basically my stepdad. He got this for me as a graduation gift. I should definitely start reading it more. Instead of just sticking in here. Look at that! My baby sister's seen your picture. Oh, Debbie. So I think I'm gonna keep the rest of the stuff that's in here. It's like some workout stuff. A uh, couple of sentimental pieces, uh, tire iron, uh, gas can, things like that. I just gotta figure out a way to organize it and keep it neat until I can get my bed cover for my truck so that I can keep everything in the back. Cause that's ultimately why I really want this truck. Put a little bed cover on it and then, you know, I can haul all my stuff around in there. So I'm just gonna try to make this neat-ish. So if I need to have somebody in the truck with me, I can. Cause as you saw, there was no way nobody could have gotten there at first. This was life in college, straight up life. But can you hear that? Hard as a brick. I missed. All right, y'all, y'all ready to see the end result? I mean, I didn't do nothing spectacular, just cleaned up the inside, made it a little more presentable for myself. It's too dusty and dirty, but let's just check it out. Oh yeah, much more manageable in there. Cleaned the dash up some. Cleaned off the glass. I can see through the stuff pretty clearly now. I'm going to vacuum and get a little bit of the extra stuff out. I got the door panels all nice and clean. Clean-ish. Once I paint it and tint the windows, a couple more parts, my baby will be good to go. But, wait. There's one more thing I must add. Y'all see it? A steering wheel knob. Oh, yeah, baby. 
Oh, yeah. I've always said, if I get a truck, no matter how big, no matter how small, I would get me a knob. And I think that thing beautiful. I need to slide it up just a tad because I just tested it out. Based off how I drive, it's a little bit low. I want it to sit by right here. So I'm about to get that right there. But yeah, that's Slevin, man. And I've been working hard on him. Uh, he's giving me fits, but it has a lot of sentimental value. So I'm just going to keep grinding, keep working, and hopefully he'll stay with me for a long time because my mechanic swears it's a good truck. But right now, I'm kind of indifferent about it. But we're going to ride it till the wheels fall off. Okay, it is right now 1.40 and my day is about 85% done. That's crazy. I really got to get back in the habit of getting up at 5 a.m. because it just makes everything flow so much smoother, so much quicker. I get done and I have so much time to do whatever it is that I want to do. So I really got to get back in the habit of it. And if you remember from yesterday's video, I used this same backdrop and I liked it so much that I decided to do it again. Plus, while I'm out here talking to y'all, I get to let my big man, come here buddy, he don't want to play right now. I get to let him run around and do his thing. But um, yeah, uh, so as far as the razor went, I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, just got to get used to it. I would definitely recommend, especially if you're a straight razor person. Um, it's a very nice blade. Uh, I had a great workout today, a couple sessions, you know, and I'm just excited because I'm back to recording. I'm back to feeling good, like physically, mentally, and spiritually because my sickness is gone. I'm back to recording. I'm back to working out. Everything is looking great, and I just realized I didn't frame this shot that well. If I sit back here, I'm great. If I sit up here, I got to lean way down. But it don't matter because we're still shooting a video. Now, uh, there may be more content after this later today. I'm not sure. I don't have much else planned other than a few more sessions. Um, so if something spectacular happens, I'll definitely have it on video. But if not, till next time, people, later.